How to Become a Medical Assistant in Five Simple Steps. Brought to you by medicalfieldcareers.com. What is a certified medical assistant? Medical assistants are versatile allied health professionals who handle a wide range of clinical and administrative support tasks for healthcare providers. The majority are employed at facilities such as hospitals, physicians' offices, and outpatient clinics. They typically report directly to an office manager, doctor, or other advanced healthcare practitioner. The five steps to become a medical assistant. Step one, decide if you want to get certified. Step two, choose level of education. Step three, enroll into an accredited program. Step four, complete your clinical training. And step five, pass a national certification exam. What does a medical assistant do? A medical assistant on a day-to-day -day basis will do a combination of administrative and clinical tasks. Some of the administrative duties are answering phones, greeting patients, maintaining medical records, filling out insurance forms, handling office correspondence, scheduling appointments, coordinating admissions and laboratory services, and even assisting with billing and bookkeeping. Clinical duties may include recording patient histories, measuring and recording vital signs, explaining procedures and treatments to patients, prepping patients for examination, assisting the physician during the examinations, collecting and prepping specimens for lab testing, disposing of contaminated medical supplies, sterilizing instruments, and even prepping and administering medications as directed by the physician. How long does it take to become a medical assistant? To answer this question, we would first need to know if you plan on attending formal training or not. If you decide to pursue a medical assisting position without completing formal training or getting certified, you can start working just as quickly as you can find a job. Most employers prefer to hire someone who has completed formal training. But finding such an opening may take longer than you'd like. Furthermore, the American Association of Medical Assistants recently reported that the industry is rapidly moving towards only hiring certified medical assistants. This trend is due to a range of legal factors at a national and state level, and the desire of employers to protect their interests by only employing professionally certified healthcare personnel. There are two primary types of medical assistant programs that most people attend, the associate's degree program or the diploma program. The amount of time required to complete these different programs ranges from two years for the associate's degree and one year or less for the diploma option. Becoming certified usually then requires an additional month or two after completing the program. The graduate must pass one of the nationally recognized medical assistant certification exams. Step one, decide if you want to get certified. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of getting certified as a medical assistant. If you do plan on certification, you can look forward to greater job security, more opportunity for advancement, higher pay than non-certified peers, and have more eligibility for hire with more employers. Some of the cons of certification are that it does require two to three years of training and study. You will have to pay for your formal training and exams, you will need to periodically test for recertification, and some certifications are not recognized in every state. Step two, choose between a diploma or associate degree program. Diploma or certificate programs can often be completed in a year or less and focus their curriculum only on skills and knowledge needed to start working. These programs are offered through a variety of institutions and may also be available online. Associate degree programs are generally two years in length and the material covered is more comprehensive in scope. Programs offering this degree are usually hosted by junior colleges and trade schools, so there are usually higher admission requirements that must be met. 
Step three, enroll in an accredited program. If you've decided to pursue certification and selected your level of education, the next step is to enroll for training with an accredited medical assistant program. This is crucial as the various nationally recognized certification exams require test takers to provide proof of having completed such a program before being allowed to sit for their tests. The two accrediting bodies for medical assisting schools are Accrediting Bureau of Health Education Schools, ABHES, and the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs, CAAHEP. Be sure to look at school costs, location, what level of education you want to achieve, and course availability before you select a program. Step four, complete your clinical training. The fourth step is to complete any clinical training required by your program. While a set number of hours in a hands-on clinical environment is a standard requirement for accredited programs, the actual amount required depends on the school itself. Some schools require as little as 40 hours of hands-on training and others require 160 hours or more. Regardless of the amount of time required, you will have to finish all the mandated clinical training hours in order to graduate from your program. Be sure to take this requirement into consideration when selecting a school. Step five, pass a national certification exam. If you want to become a certified medical assistant in the United States, there are four nationally recognized certification exams to choose from. The first is the Certified Medical Assistant CMA from the AAMA, the American Association of Medical Assistants. Second one is the National Certified Medical Assistant, the NCMA, from the NCCT, the National Center for Competency Testing. And there are two that are given from the NHA, the National Healthcare Association. They are the CCMA, the Clinical Medical Assistant, and the Medical Administrative Assistant, the CMAA. All four of these certifications are well regarded and will get you a job as a certified medical assistant in the United States. Certification test providers and fees. Let's take a look at the different certification exams, the test providers themselves, and how much each exam costs. The CMA exam, is administered by the National Board of Medical Examiners is $125 and the fee is due at the time of application. The RMA exam is administered by Pearson View is $120 and the fee is due at the time of application. The NCMA exam is administered by the National Certification Medical Association, the NCMA, is $140 and the fee is due at the time of application. The CCMA exam is administered by PSI Exams Online is $155 and the fee is due at the time of application. The CMAA exam is administered by PSI Exams Online is $115 and the fee is due at the time of application. Follow these steps and become a certified medical assistant. With an astounding 29% growth expected over the next decade, medical assistants have an extremely bright future. The job is known as the jack of all trades in many medical offices for its versatility, which makes it such a needed position and one that many physicians prefer to hire. Follow the five steps we have prepared for you and you will be on your way to joining this great growing medical field career. Check out the medicalfieldcareers.com scholarship. Before you go, be sure to check out our annual $1,500 healthcare scholarship. It is for any student enrolled or accepted into an accredited healthcare program. All that is needed for entry is the submitting of our application and a 1,000 word essay on why you wanna work in the medical field.